Book four, section 25. So the natives are chasing the Romans away from the coast and not letting the coast land. Or the, sorry, not letting our guys land on the coast. So when Caesar noticed this, so just a temporal clause, then you have to go all the way down to you sit. This is the main verb. So when Caesar noticed these things, he ordered, number one, that the long ships, so these are the ships that the men are on, he ordered that the long ships be removed a little bit. And then there's this nice relative clause that describes the long ships, both whose appearance was startling to the natives and whose movement was faster to use. So he ordered that, that they be removed a little bit away from the, the heavy loaded ships. Those are the, uh, the transport ships. And he ordered those long boats to be uh, moved away or steered with oars. And he ordered that those long boats be set up at the open flank of the enemy. And he ordered that the enemy be propelled or pushed away and moved back from there by means of slings, arrows, and uh, ballistic machines. So this could be um, catapults and uh, machines like that. So that was just one sentence. So when Caesar ordered these things, or so when Caesar noticed these things, he ordered that the big boats be moved away and so now he's going to actually use the small transport boats to move guys onto the shore. Quiris magno usui mistris fluit. This, this happening with the boats was magno usui, was of great use to us. Magno usui is a dative of purpose. Okay, now here's a really famous, famous section. So these, these boats are approaching the, the shores, and the natives don't really know what to do. So the natives, having been moved or alarmed or excited by the shape of, uh, of the boats, and by the both and, both having been alarmed by the shape of the boats and by the motion of the oars and by this unusual type of weaponry, they, they stood still, constaterrant, and they brought back their feet a little bit, meaning they retreated back just a little bit. But with our soldiers delaying a little bit, uh, mostly on account of the depth of the sea. Um, the one who was carrying the eagle of the 10th legion, having sworn an oath to the gods that, that this matter turn out well for the legion, said, jump down, soldiers, <laughs> Jump down, soldiers, unless you want to give away our eagle to the enemy. And here's this the eagle bear. Uh, I certainly. Christotero is um, to stand for somebody or to do your duty for somebody. So I certainly will do my. Um, meum officium, my duty to both the Republic and our commander. So, with a great voice, when he, sorry, when he said this, with a great voice, 
he hurled himself out of the boat and began to carry the eagle against the enemy. Then, okay, then our men, uh, having urged on each other, or having been urged on amongst them, amongst each other, our men, they jumped down, Unawersi, all together from their boat, from their boats, lest no such a great uh, dishonor be allowed. And so, or further, um, when when the the primi, the ones close, uh, the 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 next ones, the ones close to, um, or from the following ships, or from the nearby ships, when they saw hosts, when they saw the other men jumping out of their own boats, um, they having followed. They approached the enemy. And then just a little bit about the, the standard, or not the standard bear, but the eagle bear. Um, well, standard and the eagle, sometimes the same thing. So basically it was like a, a capture the flag thing. And the eagle of, of a legion represented the heart and soul of the legion. There was even a fancy little tent for each eagle, for each legion um, at, the, at the camp. So shamed. The others followed him and forced their way ashore. 